Hi, my name is Menlo Klein, and welcome to the Late Parsha Show. Hey, this week's Torah portion is a double Torah portion. That means when we read two Torah portions together as one in sync with the particular year on the Jewish calendar. Don't ask. It's a little complicated and far beyond this video. The two Torah portions we read this week are called Nitzavim. Whoa. The two Torah portions we read this week are called Nitzavim and Vayelech. The portion called Nitzavim is always read on the week before Rosh Hashanah. Yup, ding, 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 that's this week. Here comes the awesome day of judgment. It's the start of the 10 days in which at any given moment you'll be struck by lightning. No, it's the start of 10 days designated for serious introspection and taking on mitzvah resolutions for the coming year. Oh. Well, then I uh, better start introspectifying myself. Rosh Hashanah is the day on which we stand before Almighty God and ask Him to once again accept kingship over the entire universe. And as every single day, we hope and pray that God's kingship will be revealed throughout the entire world. On Rosh Hashanah, we may stand in fear, but what's more important is that we are standing... We're, we're standing and standing and standing for ages and pages, and, and then we're finally told we could be seated for like two lines and then we were told to stand again. Let me finish my sentence. What's more important is that we are standing together, united. The Torah portion opens up saying, today you are standing all together before God. Moses announces this to us after gathering us together to form yet another covenant with Hashem. Or really to deepen our previous agreement to abide by the Torah's laws, to be one of unflinching, unwavering devotion. I understand it to be a little similar to going from an engagement to a marriage. We would be devoted to Hashem and Hashem would be devoted to us, providing for us and giving us goodness in a way higher than nature. When the verse says you are standing together today, today is hinting to the day of judgment. What better portion to read before Rosh Hashanah when we will reaffirm our contract with God, asking God to once again accept His kingship over the entire universe. And that doesn't only make us His loyal subjects, but being that the Almighty is our Father, would also make us His royal children. Before we can ask Him this, we have to make sure one thing. We are asking Him this together. We are coming not just as a nation, but recognizing that we are like different parts of a body, making up one whole. The same way one hand wouldn't slap the other hand for getting hurt. We must treat every single Jew knowing that he or she completes me. And when we come before God together like this, we are sure that God is going to accept his kingship. And when we live in this way with this recognition, and this is the way we always treat each other, we can be sure that his kingship will be revealed throughout the entire world with Mashiach. May it be now. Have a sweet new year.